Hi guys, I've got here today the AeroPress for field use. So the AeroPress comes in a wonderfully compact drinking vessel. Uh, you open it up with a rubber top and underneath, inside, is stored your filters. You can take up to five or six filters. Uh, your actual plunger where the coffee goes in and the plunger gets, in, gets its use. And a stirring stick if you need it, but I prefer not to. I just shake things, but I'll probably use it today. And then to finish with, of course, the container that it's all packed into, which gives you a very generous uh, mug for your morning coffee. So it is very lightweight, it can be carried in your pocket, so uh, let's proceed and get it into use, shall we? Uh, there's nothing here for the likes of you, you're only a beagle after all. You won't like coffee, it's not designed for your type of creature. Anyhow, I'll just show you how quickly it packs away. You can fold the stirring stick, insert the plunger, put it in the mug, put it all together and it's packed away into the side pouch. So I think it's a great piece of kit for people that are serious about the coffee and don't mind carrying a little bit of extra weight. That's the best coffee brew I've ever tasted in the field. So I've discovered two things today. When you set a hammock up, set the bed to knee height for, for yourself. So when you're sitting on the edge of it, your feet are on the ground if you want them to be. And getting out in in is relatively easy. You just swing your, your legs over, push back, and you're virtually in standing position, and off you go. So the other thing is, the standard military tarp isn't quite big enough uh, to extend the length of the hammock, unless in diamond formation, which I think is at a push 
just about acceptable. But uh, some of the, the later military tarps are, of course, slightly bigger than the originals in the 90s. And so, until next time, all the best to you all. See you soon. Chin chin.